Hello, 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 friends. So today I just wanted to do some collective readings for you. Um, I created some other content and batched some other readings earlier today. So I'm feeling a little like zing it is zing zing. So before we get started, I do want to take the time to um, take some deep breaths and come into resonance and connect with you guys. All right. So. <clears throat> I'm sitting crisscross applesauce, taking some deep breaths in. If you know anyone who may would like a message, please share this out to them. One more deep breath. For those of you who might not know who I am, I'm Tiara, AKA T, and I love to live a life that is bubbly. So what do I mean by a bubbly life? A bubbly life is an extraordinary life. It is a life of our choosing and our own making, understanding that we are the creators of our universe. We are the creators of our reality. We get to perceive as we want to, as we choose to, and really like stepping up and taking ownership of our lives. That's what a bubbly life is all about. So whether you want to live a life of luxury and freedom and fun, which is all of the like desired feelings that I have, um, that's me. Or maybe you want to live more like secluded and like in the woods and go camping every day, whatever, whatever that looks like for you, that is your bubbly life. And you get to choose how and when you get to live it. Okay, friend. So that's what a bubbly life means for me. I am the founder of a community called A Bubbly Life on Facebook. You can go to my link in bio and check that out. It is a monthly membership where we really hold each other accountable for living our best lives. We express ourselves. There is uh, weekly divination in there. There is challenges in there. There are tips on helping you to support you to live the life that you've always dreamed of. Uh, I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions available if that's something that you're interested in in terms of divination all right and so let's get to it uh, a collective reading so I'm gonna pull some cards take what resonates and let whatever doesn't do go away because like I said it's a collective reading so some of the messages might like really hit home for some people and some of the messages might be like ah, eh, that's not quite for me but if you are looking for something more personal more like custom then of course Go ahead and get yourself a one-on-one -on -one session. All right. Did you hear the, the helicopter in the background? <laughs> Welcome to downtown Los Angeles, where the sounds of the city are our backdrop. All right. <laughs> Let's get it. What is divination? That is a beautiful question. So divination. Divination is, for me, some people think of divination as like present, like present, predicting the future. Uh, I don't I don't think of it like that. I think of divination as getting a clear understanding of where we are in our lives right now, connecting to our highest form of self and, and getting some clarity on where we are and where we want to go and how we can take action in our own lives so we can live the life that we've always dreamed of. I hope that answers your question. All right, so today I have the... Doo -doo -doo. Threads of Fate Oracle deck. It is the Shadow Edition. It is such a beautiful deck. Okay, um, I am in love with it. I got it a couple of weeks ago, and I have been working with it lately. And it's just like my new favorite thing to work with. So we'll be pulling from this deck. Um, something to know about those of you who might be not be familiar with Oracle readings or tarot readings and all of that jazz. Um, yes, there is a book that comes with the cards that give you some like insight into what the cards mean. But for me, I like to use my intuition and like look at the cards and just like kind of see what kind of imagery that comes up for me and comes just out and through and channel, channel that message rather than like going directly to the deck. If you are someone one that's new to divination I do highly recommend like you know taking a look getting close like connecting with your cards looking at what the the meanings are but also trusting yourself and trusting your intuition if you feel that a message is coming through that's like super 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 poignant to you all right <clears throat> so I'm gonna shuffle them up and see what comes out All right. 
and pull, pull out three cards to start with and see if anything else comes up. Mm. We've got the Take Risks card, the Surrender card, and the Sage card. So with that, understanding, we're going to start with Take Risks. Taking risk, understanding that if you want more out of your life, if you want to live an extraordinary life, if you want something different for your life, you are going to have to change the things that you do in your life. You can't continue to do the same exact thing every single day and expect a different outcome, right? If you want something new, you've got to sometimes take a risk. It might look like a risk. It might look like something scary, whether it's like investing in stocks or like, I don't know, jumping off a cliff. I'm not saying like jumping off a cliff in like a bad way. I'm saying like going like cliff diving with a professional, doing the fun things, that kind of thing. Like it might like it's shake and shit up okay friend so like take a risk shake shit up do the things that you're like oh that seems awesome but I don't know if I can ever do it myself guess what this is the card that says okay that thing that you've been thinking about that you're like not sure whether or not you can do do it just fucking do it and see what happens okay like what's the worst that can happen okay maybe it's something that you know what like you're like oh wait actually I didn't like that okay cool well, then we don't continue to do that right we, we make the choices we do the thing the next card is the sage okay so the sage the sage is talking about knowing and trusting in ourselves knowing that we we are smart. We don't have to go outside of ourselves to understand our own power. We are all-knowing beings. Sometimes we need a little help remembering our power, remembering how awesome we are, remembering the, the fire that we have within, having confidence in ourselves. And sometimes we do need to seek out some a trusted individual, not just anybody and everybody, but like a trusted individual to help guide us on that way. And so there there is the sage outside of ourselves and there's the sage within ourselves. So which sage do you need to tap into today? I don't know. That is for you to find out and you to discover for yourself. And then the final card is surrender. Mm. All right. Surrender is about like just being. How can we pump the brakes, slow down, and really like take some breaths connect in and understand ourselves a little bit more how can we surrender and let go of the shoulda coulda wouldas all of the expectations that other people place upon us and just let it kind of like fall away like I am envisioning this just like sitting and this like golden light just dripping down on you through your body and just like just being surrendering to their what's happening right now understanding and getting clarity on your life right now and letting go of the bullshit all right so that is the message for the collective today thank you so much for watching and joining and hanging out with me uh if you would like your own personal individual message i highly recommend going to the link in bio and booking your own one-on-one -on -one session uh, or you can always join the a bubbly life membership and inside that membership we do um, personal messages every single week so check those things out and i hope you have a glorious glorious day i love you bye